Yossi is a young Israeli, an economics graduate employed in a local bank. Like his friends, he desires a successful career and a happy life. But unlike other people his own age, his greatest desire is to preserve his vision and save himself from impending blindness. When Dana was a young girl, she had big dreams for her future. But today, her biggest dream is to retain her ability to see and avoid a world of darkness. Dana and Yossi suffer from uh, an hereditary retinal degeneration, which is called Leber congenital amaurosis. It's a, a genetic disease uh, that causes very severe visual impairment practically from birth. The uh, people affected by it have very low night vision, impaired visual acuity, constricted visual fields, and this low level of vision further deteriorates uh, throughout life. All the doctors that I have, uh, that I have visited uh, told me just one uh, unified answer. Your disease is untreatable and uh, at the age, approximately age of 40, you will be blind. It was very difficult for me. I have a career, I have a family, and I don't want to lose everything. It's filled with fear. How do I do it? If I don't want to lose my vision, it's definitely, it's really, really difficult. When I came to her, what I call it, it's changed my life. Today, thanks to the groundbreaking work of investigators from the USA and Britain, it is possible to treat this blinding disease caused by mutations in the RP65 gene using gene therapy. Thanks to the help of MVRF, this is now happening here at Hadassah. This clinical trial, funded solely by MVRF, has given Yossi and Dana new hope for a better future. LCA is caused by malfunctions in the RPE65 gene. Gene therapy involves injecting a normal gene into the retina to replace the damaged gene and renew protein production. NVRF has generously provided support for this complex research at the Adassa University Medical Center in Jerusalem. The innovative research process integrates state-of-the-art medical knowledge and cutting-edge technology. Shortly after treatment, Yossi and Dana both reported improved vision. I felt uh, the real change, the real revolution after uh, 21 days. It was uh, amazing because uh, today I see things that I have never seen before. Okay, uh, at night, especially at the night vision that was very weak uh, before the procedure. The vision field uh, has become wider than before. And uh, for that reason, uh, the work uh, became easier, faster, and uh, more effective. I saw a change. I wanted to see a very important change in the area of the and Dana's self-reporting is corroborated by quantitative measurements of their visual function as well. Under the guidelines of the Phase I clinical research trial in which they are participating, gene therapy is being applied to one eye only, and only in part of the retina. Significant improvement is visible in the treated areas. If the study continues, we will be able to develop uh, gene therapy for additional retinal degeneration genes and hopefully to improve the vision of many other patients. I'm very proud to be a part of uh, this uh, research. MVRF uh, gives me the new vision and for that reason I would like uh, to say them thank you and I'm really appreciate that. Thank you very much for everything. Dana and Yossi are a great source of, of, of excitement and, and pride and hope. But we definitely cannot stop here. But it is extremely important to treat those many patients still out there with blind diseases. And together with our partner in this effort, MVRF, we hope to continue along this path. MVRF, Malcula Vision Research Foundation, www.mvrf.org.